Hey y'all, today we're going to show you a little bit about the uh, arc force. We're going to talk about the arc force control that most of your newer machines have. And the different brands call them different things. Lincoln, you know, calls theirs crisp and soft. There's different names for it, but it's still all basically the same thing. On the arc force, there's a real in-depth technical side of how this works. I'm going to give you the layman's terms, the way that I understood it best when it was explained to me. So the softer the arc is, what I try to explain to people, it's almost like this. There's your rod and your arc is kind of fanning out a little wider, which makes your bead have a little bit flatter, lower crown profile. So that's the softer side of the arc. The more crisp the arc is, this would be more focused a little more focused on your arc, and the bead would have more of a higher crown profile, okay? Instead of being where the toes flow out real nice. So this would be more crisp, would be a little more focused, and honestly for me, most of the time, if I use a crisp setting, it's for like an open route with a 6010. Most 7018, I like it slightly soft. It helps that bead wet in. So that's kind of the layman's terms that does not get into the technical side. This, you know, this is just trying to explain how it's going to affect your weld, okay? So if you remember, the softer it is, the more that weld's going to flow in and kind of lower uh, profile. And, and a lot of times have nice toes on the sides of the bead. That's what we're shooting for. The more crisp the arc is, the more focused the arc is and the arc and the rod won't stick as bad. All right, let's make some hot, huh? And we're at the upper setting of a you know, 332nd. I mean that rod is starting to kind of glow red like a like a old yeah. stainless stick rod would well, do. Let's just, well let's just push that over to the side and just chip it when it cools off. Good to go. Alright, going hot. So I'm going to see if the crisp setting does what it's explained to do, where you can pretty much bury that rod. I'm pushing the rod down into the puddle, and it is not sticking. And I got pretty good pressure. I think I'm going to have to stop so I don't burn a hole through my table. So I'm just getting the bead going, and now I'm just going to show the rod down into the setting. So on the crisp setting, that's supposed to keep, help keep the rod from sticking. So like if you were doing an open root or something. So I mean, I'm just physically forcing that rod down in there. I guess that's the lesson. It's not like night and day, but it's a subtle difference that probably makes more difference on the 6010 route than it does on on a bead on plate. It might make a difference on a fillet weld or groove I weld think, or something. I think the vertical is where you see a bigger difference. 